yet. Oh, just, oh now we are. Uh, yeah, oh, I, 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 was, yeah, yeah I was giving the um, the warning, so the warning. <laughs> everybody can start, you know, or stop rather talking about their illegal activities and <laughs> everything. Um, so this is, I think, week five. Uh, I've stopped counting. Uh, but uh, we're talking about female musicians uh, this week. And um, while we're on the topic of sort of like um, the opening, uh, next week is going to be um, about finding new music. And I'm going to try really hard to get some like people that do net labels and podcasts and stuff to uh, at least a, a handful to come and uh, share how they do things. Because I know from when I did a podcast that like that's a huge portion of like the time that it takes to like do a successful podcast so um everybody has their own tips and tricks um for for doing that um and even if they think they don't um, they do <laughs> like you don't accidentally have a podcast that's not how it works so um we were doing show and tell i think caleb before um before i came back so i don't know if you want to go through some of the some of the vinyl oh, sure. that you had there. yeah i can do that so uh you know, I was just picking out some some of the music off my shelf that I'd been listening to. Uh, sorry. Uh, oh, that may be my delivery. A new recording device. Sorry about that. Excuse me. That's fine. Um, I... Well, while uh, the dog is figuring it out, Beth, uh, did you uh, last last week I had mentioned maybe you should uh, you should play some drums for us? Were you able to to arrange that? Also, you're muted, Beth. So. That's all good. Hey. But, um, yeah, no, I am. Um, um, I have started to learn the guitar this week, though, so that's a new skill I'm picking up. Now I've got all this free time. Oh, I just got a rack mount recording interface delivered. I'm super excited. Ooh. Mark, right, Caleb, do show and tell. Okay. So this is, uh, sure you guys probably have already me. heard of this, but I, I got this delivered in the mail like earlier in the week. It's Waxahachie's new album, uh, St. Cloud. Pretty cool. Do you know uh, where the name St. Cloud comes from? Just curious, out of curiosity. I have no idea, but there's a bunch of, uh, there's a poster in here and uh, got, it's a fold out. Beautiful album. There's a uh, a town city in Minnesota called St. Cloud. So, oh, I'm sure she's from Georgia. So I have no idea where it's from. Mm. Maybe it's from Minnesota. Did you get <laughs> that in an interview? I didn't know. No, I'm I don't have any. That. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I just, you just said St. Cloud, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's not so far away. I've, from got, here, a, so. I've got an autographed album by her somewhere, but because i saw her last year live she's great she's so good like when i saw her i'm always trying to play jazz or play you know this complicated chord melody stuff and whatnot and when i was listening to her i was like look at all she can sing and write songs and uh look at what you can do with three cowboy chords you know it was amazing good music anyway here's another album by mary halverson milk train it's autographed. That's your. So what's with all the autograph stuff? Do you pay extra for that, or do you just like try and get them autographed at shows, or what's the? I go. I just get them autographed at shows when I go to the show. I love. I love collecting autographs. This That's is really not, cool. It's just a hobby. When I was a kid, I grew up in a small town, and I always wanted to collect autographs. I thought it would be the. I'm talking a little kid, like elementary. But no one ever came through my small town. So now now I'm like, you know, I don't know. 
now I now I live somewhere where I can get autographs, so I do it. So it's fun. This is Unseen Worlds by Lori Spiegel. Kind of experimental music from decades ago. Uh, well, not decades. I guess it's eighty-seven to ninety-four. That's Where I mean that's that's decades. Yeah, I hate, I hate yeah. to tell you about that's decades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess you're right. Is that a is that like a holographic co cover or three D or something? It, it looks three dimensional. It, yeah, no, it's just print. But yeah, it's I see look, what you mean. Look, it, like fractal. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's pretty. It's pretty interesting album. I was trying to. Hmm. This is a local, a uh, couple local artists from Portland, Oregon. Uh, these are my friends, Shook Twins. They released this last year. Uh, and then uh, Marissa Anderson. I just got this in the mail, This, uh, the single with Tara Jane O'Neill. And they're out of Portland, but really great musician. Uh, and then, have you guys ever heard Yvette Young with the band Cobbit? Mm -mm. She's amazing. Uh, this album that I was showing is she plays piano on, but she's actually a guitar player. And uh, I got a I got a guitar lesson with her when she was playing a gig in town. I couldn't believe it too because she does all this. Uh, she, because she grew up playing piano. She does like two hand tap stuff like Stanley Jordan. It's crazy. Oh, there's another there's another female guitarist that hold on a second. Um I can't remember her name. That she basically does exclusively two finger tapping. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh Marty Stern. Marty Stern, sure. Yeah, Yvette Young's kind of like math rock. The stuff she does with Cobbett, I guess, be called math rock, probably. But anyway, those are the albums I pulled off my shelf, and I'll put them in the comments too. So, but uh, a lot of great music coming out by the women of the world these days, in my opinion. There is indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm a little bit biased being one, but. Yeah, I don't know. I think you've got a good point. I don't have anything to show. I'm sorry. Terrible rubbish. I want to show you some. Very talented female musician. She she's named Le Le Biscuit. She's from Germany. Of course, it's strip hop. Yeah. Well, check it out. Did you, um, uh, Caleb, did you see that like right before um, we got on, there's uh, they just, somebody, it was like great timing. Well, actually, I just saw it, but um, but uh, they actually posted 13 hours ago. Somebody posted the uh, Lingua Igno Ignoto, or Ignota, I guess, in, uh, in the Abnormal Music Group. And I wouldn't have even like thought like, oh, that's a female musician, but um one of the comments was that she rocks. So, <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. I was like, oh. I didn't see, I didn't see it. I'll have to check it out later. Yeah, I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, yeah, Caleb that and I group, are in this. Oh, yeah, that I thought we thought that group was better when they had a. I guess what do you call the person that uh, the host or something of the group? The moderator, I guess. Yeah, the moderator. I think they used to just let people post records and uh, media that they had bought, you know. Oh. And I, I liked the group more then. I don't know. That's just a personal opinion of mine, obviously. But 
I, I liked it more then. Now that people are just posting anything, and it's just I don't know. I don't like it. As oh, much. is this your weird music group, dog? Yeah, it's yeah. called it's called Abnormal Music. I don't like the name of it either, but whatever. I didn't pick it. Well, I mean, so I. But I know what they mean, but I don't. The thing like is, is if you call it like experimental or avant-garde, then people are going to like complain about like, oh, this isn't really avant-garde. I mean, people still complain this stuff is not abnormal. But I feel like abnormal is like a, a term that is not used with music. Like there's not a there's not a definition. So people like, you know, where it's like, I don't know. I feel like people get hung up on experimental and avant-garde music and what that is and so um i don't know and it's like that thing that i posted the um that um i mean they called themselves neo folk but i don't even know if that's really what they are but that like world music stuff from italy that i posted the other day caleb yeah. um like i don't think i don't know that i would have called that experimental or avant-garde you know so, i don't like, know I don't if know. i'd call it folk <laughs> well, right. Yeah. I mean, well, I think so, so that's another like definitional thing. It's like, so like folk music, like when people think of like what it means, like in the U S largely, they mean like something that's like, you know, stemmed from like some sort of like guitar based music. But I mean, a lot of like real folk music is like, you know, what, you know, you might call like early music or like, you know, it's like a, it's like, Word from a, huh? The music you posted remind me of war drums. A little bit. Yeah, I'll post it. Uh, I don't know if I posted that to you guys. I, there is actually a female in that group, um, as it turns out. So it's a it's a duo. Um, if I can if I can find them, um, but it's like it's looks like jazz, progressive jazz, metal rock folk thing. It seems <laughs> like more like it seemed like more uh, to me. I would have put it in like. Eastern European metal <laughs> category of some sort. <laughs> well, it's, uh, so, I mean, go ahead. European? As we talk about ethno music, here is a band from Russia called Hadden Dadden. I'm not sure about genre, but it sounds fun. scroll back through a bunch of stuff oh. that track is in russia in russian language but sound is fantastic for me that's great <laughs> i was looking at the comments I, I stumbled upon the uh somebody posted the jesus freak um video did you see that one caleb um i did not there's a lot of uh i was what's that when people start talking about these like chris these spirituals uh i always think of this album from like the 60s or 70s that was it's hard to find if you find one you can resell it for like a thousand bucks or something but i can't remember the title of the album now um anyway sorry that ran. I posted this thing by the Salters. Uh, I don't know that there are any females in the Salters, though. Oh, apparently they're no longer on the uh, FMA. Or I don't know what's going on here. You could do abnormal music. Oh, yeah. Nothing but like mid century church recordings of just absolute insane stuff. I bet there's a ton of it out there. I just want to <laughs> yeah. Online. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Anytime you go to a garage sale, you see like tapes and whatever like church choirs and stuff like that there's all kinds of weird shit out there that nobody's ever going to listen to again <laughs> yeah so these are like uh some christian anarchists i don't think they have any uh oh i should see man i should see if I can... i'm scared to google it but <laughs> I was outside a concert once and I didn't realize they were cult oh, members, but there's like these cult members came up and sold me an album. Yeah. 
Let me, oh my God, he has a Wikipedia page. He was like Charles Manson minus the murder. That you know of. Like, that I know of, but check this dude out. We, we can't get in the Russian. What are we checking out here? The link in the chat. The dude's name is Wolf Zendik. And oh, I, had a, I had an album. I should see if I can find it. I probably sold the CD. They sold me the CD for like five bucks. And it's just, it's weird. I should rip it and put it online. You know, when we're talking about, I wish we could do this on this podcast. I wish we were talking about music. We could actually play some of the music, but then we'd have to go through the work of getting permissions. Well, um, yeah, it's kind of a fine line. Yeah, a lot of that stuff, like, you know, YouTube will uh, pay the licenses for. Oh man, Wikipedia says the cult broke up. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can find the specific album then. Oh man, Discogs.com to the rescue. Here it is. I own this CD and I will try and find it and rip it. Oh, somebody already put it on YouTube. Oh shit. Thank you, internet. My, um, can you guys still hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, my zoom is, uh, it says it's not responding, but like I can still hear you guys and apparently you can hear me. So I was eventually, if it ever starts quote unquote responding, I'll drop that link to this like jazz world ambient whatever thing that um like I said it's a duo um but uh the um I know I, the woman in the group she uh she does some vocals I don't know that at times it's really singing it's more spoken word um but uh yeah I also, I just made a list of like random um, people to bring up. <laughs> I, a very non-complete list. Uh, I was thinking about Dolly Parton because it, it recently, um, well, first of all, people love Dolly Parton and I guess she's a cool person, but like, I don't really get it. <laughs> Somebody want to explain the, the Dolly Parton to me? Uh, I yeah, like, I mean, I think... Uh, I think you have to understand Dolly Parton in the context of like when she first became famous and what that meant because now she's just like you know a celebrity right but I think at the time it was really you know she wrote her own songs which is a huge deal oh yeah she wrote I Will Always Love You and Jolene in the same day which to me is amazing that that's even possible because those are two classic songs it, you know, and she was kind of the complete package, right? She was a huge star when she came out. And it's just like, ask your parents how they feel about Dolly Parton and what it was like. Cause like, she was just a sensation, like a huge yeah. deal. My parents don't like country music. So I don't think they would. Yeah. But even if you like don't like country way. music, I think you're still like, she was just <laughs> part of the culture. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I, I think. Uh, with Dolly Parton, I think, uh, you know, you can relate to her even if you don't like country music. I mean, she's got great lyrics and uh, she's really down to her earth human person and she's a humanitarian. You know, I'm always impressed with what she does, you know, humanitarian wise. Uh, I just put something in the comments there, another local Portlander, but uh, she, I also work with her as a vocalist sometimes. So I wanted to put her... Song, songs up there. Uh, so, Michelle Ann Mon Moldro. She's also a, a really great, fabulous fine art painter, too. So I cannot see the chat. That is one thing I cannot do. Mm. I'm just be completely frozen. I can still hear you, though. Yeah. So uh, one that I uh, 
wrote down Victor, the Russian uh, singer, Natasha Beller. I don't know if I'm telling um, that right. Beeler, maybe? She called herself Beller. Beller. Uh -huh. Did you actually find something that Victor's familiar with? Yeah, she's on, she released an album on Black Sonic. So I don't know who uh, who produced it. I think Cutside worked on uh, on that album, but no, it, it was Doctor Mom. Okay. And now his name is Ips. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yips. Oh yeah, Natasha's on uh on Spotify too. If people wanna I can't post a link, but it's B E L L E R. So it's not hard to spell. <laughs> <laughs> Another one uh is uh Kamiko Ishizaki. Um if you like, like she's a classical pianist. Um and uh she did like a like a public domain recording of one of the um of box fugues she's done some other stuff too but i think that's what she was uh most famous for you know like a like a um you know professional quality um of domain recording um the other thing that's interesting or one thing that's interesting about her is i don't know if they were like intertwined or one was after the other but at some point in her career, she was like an Olympic, um, like power lifter, <laughs> which is, uh, you know, like piano and power lifting. I don't always go together. So <laughs> Doug, your screen just went black. For me. Oh, that's a bummer. Can you guys still hear me though? Yeah, we can still hear you. Yeah. Fuck knows what's happening with zoom right now. <laughs> Who knows it? Who knows if it, I mean, it still looks to me like it's recording, but who knows? Uh, it, it still says it's, it's Google recording. trying yeah. to ban. It's what? <laughs> it's Google trying to ban Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll get rid of Firefox and that'll help it out. Um, I don't know. Um, Bethany, I love the drum set in the background there. That's awesome. That's small electric. I've got the main couch there. So that's my little baby. Yeah, I feel like we're overlooking the female musician that we have here. Right, now. yeah. I asked, I asked her to play. I, I know, but my, my, my kit, I was cleaning it and re-skinning uh, it, so it's all in bits upstairs. And that, you just, what, you, it just sounds like banging if you're not got the headphones in and like. That's all percussion is, right? Just banging? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Organized <laughs> banging. Organized banging. <laughs> this video just went out uh, totally. <laughs> no, it's, it's cool. And then I've got my guitars down that end. That's awesome. I got my guitar back from the luthier uh, earlier this week. I'm very psyched. No. It's a 41 Edo experimental guitar. Love so. that. Yeah, what makes it experimental? What does that mean? Yeah. Hold on, let me show it to you. Yeah, it's mine. Two of them. I can't, I can't change the video view. <laughs> so it's like everybody is small except Ben. Oh, lucky Ben. <laughs> I, can, I can see all of you moving. Like, I can see Caleb's guitar. I just can't if you interact. Can see, there's a are. lot more frets on this. Oh, thing. there's a lot of strings going on there, too. It's eight strings and it has, uh, so what What 41 Edo means is that instead of 12 frets in an octave, there are, uh, well, I have, it's kite tuned. There should be 41, but since it's kite tuned, there's half of that. Oh, that's right, because it's microtonal, right? Right, it's a microtonal guitar, yeah. So, so you're, not, you're not about to join a corn cover band, because that's what the thing looks like. Right, no. Definitely yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> but no, one day I'll get the kit downstairs and I'll show you all how the, that kit, the pretty kit, my baby. Yeah, well, 
So I could plug this in and play it, but that's not what the show's about today. So <laughs> next week. Hey Beth, have you been doing? Does anyone know of a really like a uh, good lit way to jam with people online that Dis would not have much latency? Um, Discord seems to be the winner. Which one? Discord. Your hands over your mouth. Sorry, it's just how I sit. It's just, just how I, my awkward face. Um, Discord. <laughs> oh, thank Discord. you. Victor. Yeah, Discord. <laughs> Um, it's what I record podcasts on with Jammer, so it's pretty good. Um, okay, I, I'll, I'll recommend that. But I had, I had the funniest thing earlier this week. A bunch of my friends got together and they parked cars along the street and they hooked all, hooked all the instruments up to a mixer outside of the car. <laughs> and they jammed together in their different cars. It was funny mm -hmm. as hell. Like, I'm tempted to drag my kit outside and just annoy my neighbors, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, I, it's, I, I don't know how much my dad is playing. Um, you know, like it would be like asynchronous, I guess. But um, I know my dad's been doing lessons over uh, Google Hangouts some. I think actually he's been using Zoom, but then some, some people have had some latency issues with Zoom and then the... Um, the one one of his students that said um, he was that he was having problems with Zoom. He had had success with Hangouts, so there may be like you know depending on like where you know where they have um, you know servers and stuff could be it could be different on the West Coast versus versus uh, the UK. Of course, my dad's on the East Coast, so that could be different too. But you might. I guess the point I'm trying to make is you might have to play around a little bit to find one that works for everybody. Yeah, that's what they're doing. They were actually talking about doing ham radio jam the other day. And I was, we were trying to explain to them that would be illegal, but whatever. Because <laughs> they don't have ham licenses? Well, no, because on ham radio, you're not allowed to play music. Even if it's your own? Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Why is weird. that? I, you know, I don't really know where the FCC comes in, and I wouldn't be able to explain it to you. I think it has something to do with it being a worldwide thing, and some people are using it in wars and things like that. So. I think part of it is ham radio is also sort of considered part of the public safety network. Right, yeah. That, so it would be a little bit like calling 911 to listen to the hold music. Yeah. Or nine 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 is that what it is in the UK? Nine 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 is it? Yes. Yeah. Is it? What's the? Do you know what we're talking about, Victor? If you have an emergency, is there a short phone number you can call? One twelve. One twelve. Okay. One twelve. Okay. Wow. Man, I learned something today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one one twelve is a lot shorter than nine one one too. If you think about a rotary phone, that's probably a better number. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who's using rotary? I know, yeah. do, you want, do you want to, okay, can we digress for a second? Do you want to hear some crazy trivia that I know about Let's America? So you can tell when long distance was introduced, how populated cities were by their area code. So the shorter the numbers are, the lower the numbers. And if there's a one in the middle, like New York is 212, LA is 213, Chicago is 312, because they're all really populated, right? So when somebody would manually have to dial on the exchange, they would want the shortest possible number. But if you look at like Wyoming, Wyoming, there's nobody there. So Wyoming was 909. So like Minneapolis, 612, you know, it's a little bit smaller than, you know, the Twin City or than New York and LA and all that. So anyway, does that make sense? Because it takes less time to dial the smaller numbers because you have to go around the dial for shorter ways. Yeah, yeah, definitely makes sense. My, my city is 727, but it's the biggest city of Kazakhstan. <laughs> Right. I don't think it matters now because nobody uses rotary. Yeah. This yeah, is... but it, but it, that but it would have been part of the USSR when uh when rotary phones were around, right, Victor? Yeah. Yeah, so it was yeah. probably the somebody in Moscow who was determining the numbers 
and they probably gave zero Perfect. fucks about Kazakhstan. I mean, maybe they loved <laughs> Kazakhstan. I don't oh, know, but so I'm just, I, I just, I just saying, like, you know, like it's just like somebody in DC, like they don't care about Wyoming. I mean, unless they're the Wyoming representative, you know, it's like it's out there. Although there's nothing close to, uh, I'm, I'm still gonna call it Astana, even though I know that's not the name. There's nothing close to uh, Astana's level of city in in Wyoming. That's for damn sure. So. Uh, I, don't, I don't like Astana, stupid city. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's got like two million people though, right? I mean, it's not a little city. I think those two facts might be related, dog. Huh. Well, fair enough. The uh, my son earlier in the week he came up to me and gave me this car. He put a band aid on it. See, was it hurt? Yeah, it was hurt. He crashed it and it got hurt, so he put a Band-Aid on it. I thought that was super cute. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. They should do that in the Fast and the Furious to their cars when they wreck yeah. them. <laughs> 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 oh, and a Toretto. Throwing the Band-Aid on the front of the car. I have one too. Let me put it in the chat. You have a Band-Aid car? No, just a female musician who's very good. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask uh, Ben. Oh before. yeah, you've you've shared that one. That is a good one. Have that is a banger. This is an album or a band? She's uh, so singing. Band. You must thought... Dottie. Yeah. Cool. There is quite a lot of, it depends what vibe you're feeling. I feel like this one will be more Victor. So I have a question, are we counting duos or groups where like the front person is a, is a woman? I believe so. I mean, that's, I, like, that's like a huge proportion of the music I listen to. Apparently, synth pop duos with female singers is that's. Is this the right daddy? Yeah. Okay, cool. He's really good. And if you fancy something a bit heavier, the Kobe is very good. Yeah, and even like, I mean, I mentioned Sonic Youth. I mean, what? And, and Kim is. You know, oh not, man, so. did you hear the album she released last year? It's nuts. It's the craziest thing. Like, I would not have expected that album at all, but it's amazing. Which one? Uh, Kim Gordon's album from last year. It's the, oh, fact, yeah. the, thing that makes it, the thing that makes it extra amazing is she's like my mom's age. <laughs> Kim Gordon's amazing. An amazing person. A link. Oh, dog is a cat. Yeah. Sorry, I got excited. Sorry. Have you ever read? Have you ever read <laughs> Gordon's reviews, like in art form, or her writings in art form magazine? No. She's, why is it good? Oh my gosh, she's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, she's so intelligent. Really. Yeah, brilliant. I threw a Spotify link to that album. It's in terms of things that I was not expecting. Uh, that's. I don't know. It's amazing. Super good. Also, Beth Gibbons is amazing too. Who? I wish you guys. I wish I could figure Beth out. Gibbons. Place. Yeah, she is. Portuguese. Wow, I haven't heard that in a while. Stolen Car is an amazing song. She was. She did a bunch of vocals for like techno songs at the turn of the millennium too. This is, Ash Nico has very blue hair. She does. And I love her quite a lot. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like, it's a very angry female singer. Very oh, angry. I'm looking forward to it. She's very good. May I personally recommend Manners? It's uh, one of my favorites. Albums? Uh, song, Manners. It's um, very good, in my opinion. She's okay, not I'm for everyone. It's not what? Not for everyone. Uh, I, I listen to very angry feminist music quite a lot, so um. That makes me happy all day. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, let me give you a playlist. <laughs> yeah, I found it. I'm downloading it now. I'm looking forward to it. I was listening to Rebel Girl this morning, and like the, I guess Melvin's last year did a cover of it, and uh, I love that song. I don't know why I'm thinking that. It's, so old. it's, it's an old song, but a good one. There's there's Arch Enemy. I didn't realize that they were uh, that they were a super group. You Arch Enemy. Yeah, Ban the members were from Carcass, Armageddon, Carnage, Merciful Fate, um, and a bunch of other bands. That listens to stuff with really fun album colors, and uh, and really f and people with really good hair. I love it. <laughs> it's to all that pop, isn't it, Doug? I mean, well, I every time I, I listen, I think I she'll be forever salty about that. I. Oh. I, I heard your boy on the radio the other day. Which one? Uh, the McDermy guy. Oh, Dermot McKennedy. Oh, yeah, Dermot McKennedy. Yeah. He's yeah. my and Oh, I apparently like... I can't spell. I just dropped a list of different things that I've been listening to recently that are women, and most of them, I don't, there's apparently there's also a lot of solo electronic female musicians. And yeah, that's, that's happening in a big way. Um, one of the ones that's really crazy is Pharmacon, which is, I think, considered harsh industrial noise. It's honestly almost hard to listen to, but it's kind of amazing at the same time. That'd be why it's harsh noise. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I'm terrified of whatever person that makes that music. Gender doesn't matter. Like anybody that's like, yep, this is my thing. <laughs> They're scary to me. It turns out I listen to quite a lot of angry females. This isn't even really oh, identifiable as female. It's just insanely angry. No, I'm just going through my Spotify playlist to drop stuff to listen to it. And I'm like, oh, okay. I listen to a lot of angry, angry women. Do, do you know, Caleb, why um, like the, the zeitgeist around the people... Um, posting Fiona Apple in that abnormal music group because there has been a lot of Fiona Apple talk recently. I don't even think that qualifies <laughs> as abnormal music. You know, like, but like, is there a reason? Like, is it just a joke now that people are like, oh, this is pissing people off, so I'm going to post some more Fiona well, Apple? Like, I <laughs> That group, I was in that group when it very first started and there were just like a few hundred of us and it was a lot weirder then. Since then, a lot of the original people left it yeah, I'm. I'm. I almost left it earlier this week when people were posting in it, but, but uh, I don't know where else I'd go. And is this time to make a new group? Are we making a splinter group? That yeah, splinter group, yeah. Super the, abnormal. Not, music. Yeah, very actual strange. abnormal music. <laughs> very, very strange music. <laughs> the problem is, I think the people that would be into something like that are going to self-select to a certain extent and it's going to be all, like it would take a lot to shock not, any of us right right yeah so you know if the things you listen to normally qualifies as abnormal like how are you even in a position to judge yeah. i just can't believe there are like thirty thousand people in the group now or something crazy <laughs> yeah so oh there's thirty thousand people that's there's why it's garbage yeah, Nothing like 30,000 people can be good. Well, I mean, when you're posting Fiona Apple, I mean, hey, look, I got respect for Fiona Apple, but she's not, like, unheard of. <laughs> it doesn't like say obscure, video though. on MTV at one point in your career, you can't be abnormal. Yeah. I don't know about that. I mean, like... Well, the residents made it on MTV, so... Yeah. That's, I mean... If they, don't, if they don't qualify as abnormal, I don't know if, if, right, if that's fair. anyone is. That's fair. I can't tell. They've worked people. very hard to be abnormal. <laughs> That's right. I forget MTV at one point actually had content. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, that dates us though. Big that time. MTV played videos and had content and. Right. And we complain about it. Like, let's watch this crappy music videos all day long and stuff. Yeah. I miss those days, though. I do. The thing and is, at that point, like, that was kind of it, you know? 
right, there yeah. was not a lot of other options. Yeah, I remember I'd be up. I ne I never could afford cable when I was young, but when I went to my friend's house, I'd be watching it. It'd be fun. Sometimes there's a there's twenty thousand four hundred twenty two members to the group. Yeah, it's a bunch. Oh, yeah, that's why it's garbage then. Yeah, it's like people posting stuff that really you hadn't. Isn't this a group you, where you told me somebody posted the Deftones? Yeah, um, I was just like, laughing. I like the Deftones, but they're not abnormal by any means. No. Yeah. Like, I can turn on the radio and hear the Deftones if I wait long enough. Well, I don't know that they, that they posted the Deftones to start. I think the Deftones just came up in conversation, but I could be wrong about that. I, I don't remember the context, but yeah, I definitely was like, because sometimes people ask questions. They'll be like, um, you know, somebody did actually ask not long ago, um, like, you know, what's some abnormal female music? I should look at that. I should try to find that thread. But the thing is, is like, it's impossible to find stuff because there's 20,000 people posting. <laughs> all right, I should grab that list. I got to add all these. Sorry, I went for a bit of a music no. job. That's the idea. Bethany, Bethany is killing the chat here. Oh That's my God. because female, apparently female music is something I'm good at, but I had to look at my playlist to look at that. Uh, man. I, I know, I try and, before we have these chats, I try and log in and look at like my recently listened to to kind of jog my memory about what the hell I've even, it's like I gotta remember what I'm listening to. Well, like, uh, about some female musicians there. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, like I posted her link in there. I love her voice. And I love her songs. So like I, I wanna I want her to sing on my album. I have a few other people too in town that I want to sing when I'm making an album. You're making an album? Yeah. Well send it over when it's done. I'll review it for the blog. Oh really? That's nice yeah. of you. Uh, you have I do. Yeah, send it over. I'll do you a piece. Yeah, that'd be great. Of course. The, uh, I'm really excited. I mean, I, not, I've never done it before, so I've, I've got this interface here. Dun, dun, dun. I'm very excited for you. Yeah, I had to sell the old one because I didn't have enough to mic drums. Drums require a lot more miking than I'm. Sorry. Used to. <laughs> we know. Well, we're aware. We're I'm terrible. working the album too. <laughs> you are. You like, yeah. when you're done, I'll review it. You saw the the new um, single, right, Beth? I did. No, I know, it's, I know, on, okay. it's on my. Um, I've got a piece coming out out in about two weeks, which is music released in lockdown. So it's on that. Oh, perfect. There's a um, since I can't post links, but you guys can can you see that guitar? Oh, pretty. That's pretty wait, abnormal. Is that, wait, is that an upside? Is that, is that a guitar or a bass? Is that Billy Gibbons guitar? I don't know what it is. This person just posted it. Trying to be but funny. It's, uh, maybe somebody in the comments knows what it is. I just made a joke because that guy from CZ Top has all kinds of weird guitars. <laughs> Yeah, and the dude from Cheap Trick doesn't he have like the crazy five neck guitar? And I believe he does. I'm now looking through my music. Sorry, I'm being very worried. Sorry, I apologize. <laughs> Turns out I listen to a lot of angry, very angry women. What are the angry women talking about on the phone? So angry. We're just angry and tired about everything, Caleb. We're just over it. That's what we talk about when we're singing. Or people who have pissed us off. Or boys that have broken our hearts. That's another good one for us. Broken our hearts? Yeah. It's another, another really huge thing that apparently women sing about a lot. Apparently we don't like. What are you doing, Doug? I keep showing the like the women that are posted on here. This is a Bjork. I'm not gonna. I don't know why I even try. Pronounce I mean, it. We it. She's that. crazy. We love, hmm? we love it. Don't say that. Why you even try? 
Per, no, to try to pronounce it. Correctly. Did you talk like, shit I don't about speak Ice, I don't speak Icelandic. <laughs> so. What? Why would you say such a thing? Why would I say? Who, who don't be negative about Bjork, Doug. I mean, I just said that I probably wasn't going to pronounce her name correctly. That's not really okay. That's being fine. negative. I'm just... about... I mean, she's not that great then. I saw, I saw her what? house. <laughs> well, I mean, I saw. I guess I don't know if I saw her house specifically, but there was like an area. Where when I was in Iceland, they were like, "That's where Mjork lives." So they I probably said it right. If though. your country had one celebrity, you'd be proud of them too. They have more than one celebrity. They got the dude from Game of Thrones, and he's oh, like yeah, the, the world's strong strongest guy. Yeah. They have Bjork and a bunch of huge dudes. That those are their celebrities. Yeah, they got some soccer players now. Do they? Oh yeah, that's right. Bethany's bringing it. Look at this list, man. Apparently, I'm good at being my musicians. Um, yeah. Apparently that's something I there didn't realize. Russian, I need you. Russian, I need you no. to Bjork. The log in to my There's iTunes. So you, can you can see. Yes. Stop, to. Give me the. I'll just start downloading new things. Caleb liked this post, so you want to tell us about it? <laughs> what, what did you say? This uh, this Julia Holter uh, full performance. You liked it. I see. Yeah. Was it good? Uh, where, where did you see that at? It was posted 21 hours ago. Oh. Oh, yeah. She was awesome live. Have you heard her? Uh, I don't think I have. Her her album, uh, the last album was incredible. I, I got her autographs. It was great. She, uh, just a second. No. See if we're talking about the same person. But... Uh, what... what She's, uh, you know, experimental. Experimental. Yeah, Avery, Aviary. I, I, I have that album uh, autographed by Julia Holter. It's a great album. And when I hey, saw Victor, it, is that is that Link the Russian Bjork? Well, yeah. That you just dropped. Okay, I gotta listen to this. The rest mm -hmm. is it not not so much on Spotify. Yeah, when I saw Julia Holter live, it was, it was a great show, and she had all kinds of different instrumentation and things going on, and I was afraid that, like, the electronics were going to fizzle or, or mess up or something, and everyone went according to, everything went according to plan. That was great. Why, why were you looking at that? Oh, I, I tried to find that post where somebody asked about the abnormal uh female musicians and then but like as i'm scrolling back through i'm finding all of these other posts that have um that have women involved um and since i can't post links i'm just showing my phone screen <laughs> what the who is the one i'm <laughs> oh man what is this gal's name i'll forget it oh. What do you think about Nina Simone? What? Nina Simone. Oh, Nina Simone? Whoa, yeah. so <laughs> that link Victor just posted, I'm reading about this woman, and she got arrested while performing at a concert in 1984 in the Soviet Union, and they sent her to Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Wow. Also, in, in every oh, interview, she got... Yeah, she she said that she is from Mars. But I saw even work? I saw Oak Young Lee open up for the Swans, and I met her before the show. I didn't know who she was, and she's she's a phenomenal virtuoso. She does like experimental, uh, classical. Does like a uh, free improvisation. So. Pretty cool. You gotta look at that last artist Victor posted because this woman's story is incredible. All right. I listen. To, I always look at what everyone's posting. Let me get around to. It. I'm, I'm gonna let's look at it now though. It sounds like it needs the. Like I'm just reading. A, I posted a link to an article or like a little blurb about her. That's. 
Man, she had a wild life. Oh, man. Uh, I guess... Never. I was about to say I'm only five hours back, but I think, like, it, things move as people have, like, posted and stuff, so... Yeah. Type my name because I post a lot and it'll probably come up if you search me or I comment on stuff. So I'll, that's what I'll do here. And, there are a few more that I haven't. Oh, did everybody, has everybody seen this? This is pretty cool. You suck for, for me. Yeah, I think Doug's frozen up. Oh, uh, can you guys still hear me? We can still hear you. Yeah, your video just uh, frozen at you looking down at something. Great. Presumably your phone. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to find. Well, so I mean, maybe I'll. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be able to find it anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing it, but I know I posted on the post you're talking about. Oh, okay. I'm not seeing it though. Someone may have deleted it. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's been a... to February. Oh, yeah. Someone it's may have deleted it. I don't know. Hmm. That's a shame. Yeah, that is a shame. It was like, jeez. I'm getting warm. I think this podcast is funny because everyone gets starts. Uh, it's our generation, right? Everyone gets on their phones and then no one's talking. Valid <laughs> <laughs> points. Valid points. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, next week in particular, there'll be. Uh, I mean, if we get the right people, then like there'll be like. Um, I think we've got right people. Well, I mean, I think, um, from industry, part of the thing is, is that like, as far as next week in particular is concerned, like, I think we have already, while we haven't focused on it, like we probably already have a little bit of a sense of like how people are finding new music, you know, um, but Let the uh, algorithm do it for me. Yeah. Just Spotify algorithm. I hate, I hate finding music that way. I, yeah, it feels super impersonal, but also apparently it knows me really well. Hmm. I, I always feel like it starts giving, like I used to listen to Pandora like that, but I got to this point where it was just feeding me stuff I'd already heard and I just got tired. Oh, yeah, I kind of, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'd Anything new, I would always things. sum it up, but it still did that. Yeah. Uh, they have on Pandora now where you can like select like different, there's like a deep cuts version. And then like, I don't know what they all are because I don't really use Pandora that much, but I don't know when you stop using it, but. Um, I haven't used it in 10 years. Probably. Oh yeah. Yeah. So you might check it out again. I, mean, I, I, I pretty much, I've just been using Bandcamp, word of mouth and the abnormal music group i used it when now playing only had two thousand people i used to use that group but it seems to me that when groups get to the size of twenty thousand, they become pretty lame i don't know why that is kind of bizarre I'm gonna stop posting in chat now. I feel like I've given you guys enough there. <laughs> that's that's good though. Yeah. Bethany, how's your week been? What you what have you been up to? Um, how has my week been? Uh, um, well, uh, yeah, it's happened. Let's put it like that. <laughs> um, it happened, and uh, now I've spent pretty much five days drunk. So. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> We're on the gym now. Have you been listening to the Melvins? <laughs> I think she wasn't, uh, she hadn't joined yet when we were having that conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah. I recommend this album. Uh, the Check out uh, the Melvins cover they did last year of Rebel Girl by Bikini Kill. I'll do it now. 
Yeah, no, I've j- I'm on gin now. We we drank too much wine, so we're on gin. Yeah. I, know, I've, for the longest time, I was doing nothing but Mad Men drinks. I love that. That was a good time. We're on classy gin. I don't know if you can see what that's called, but classy gin. I oh, the muff it's, it's liquor. <laughs> the muff liquor. The muff that's liquor. Awesome. I bought it because I um I laughed for twenty minutes when I saw the name and then it was like I'm buying that that's happening. I was I was crying with laughter so um, at that point you buy the beverage. You know who hasn't come up? Um, Sleater Kinney. Oh, well, well, Bikini Kill came up. That's sort of the same the same oh, era. Yeah. I mean, Bikini yeah. Kill is more punk, I would say, than Sleater Kinney, but. Sleater Kenny, I've got their autographs. I was going to say, they must, aren't they fairly local to you? I don't believe so. I don't know. They may be. If she is, I haven't met her in any of the venues or anything. But I, when I saw I her live, Slater I got their Kenny autographs. Portland. They could be. I don't know. I, I'm not hip to that information. But I've got their autographs. Oh, cool. no, I'm wrong. Olympia. Olympia. Washington. Yeah. I should have known. There you go. That's not really all that far away, though. This is the right part of the country. Like Rancid. I don't like that band. Bad I'm sorry, band, Rancid fans. I'm not into it. Rancid? Great. Yeah. As of the spinoff with Lars Fredrickson. Lars and the Bastards. Yeah, that's actually the first song I ever played with my band. Well, like, well the first cover we ever did. Oh, really? Yeah, to to have or or to have not was the first cover we did. Hey, uh, do you have albums, Beth? We have a demo. It's not great because I was very hungover when we recorded it. Oh, you got to stop getting hungover when you record stuff. Oh, but I wanted to be drunk. Well, that's kind of, well, but now you're complaining about it. So. Oh no! It's uh, it was recorded the day after my birthday. So. <laughs> Oh. In the best, uh, I want to hear it. It's probably your best yeah. album. The first albums are always the best, right? I mean, it's not bad. It's just simple drumming for me. But we'll bang it on. Let me get it. You weren't you weren't busting out your buddy Rich licks. Uh, it was more simple for well, it's it's fast punk drumming. So, but then again, was not really headspacey enough to do anything fancy. So it's just simple, easy, to the point, works. Yeah. Is what we do. Kristen. Which is fun. Whenever we play shows, hey, everyone is usually the only female musician to turn up, and then everyone gets very confused about the fact that I'm the drummer. No one ever thinks I'm the drummer, which is weird. You know, yeah, I wouldn't have known that had I not seen a drum set in the background there. I was like, wow, this gal plays drums. That's awesome. I've also got a big ass drum tattoo, so people usually guess by that one. Oh, I didn't see it. So I want to see it. Yeah, now. I'll leave there. Wait, um, let me just one. I'll show you one second. I've just got to uh, change the shirt for that. My friend drum drummer said that he is not drummer. He is drum player. Mm. For him, is big difference. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. He is not drumming, he is playing drums. Yeah, interesting. He doesn't want to be labeled a drummer. That's a very, I don't even know what to call that. It was like, I guess musicians don't want to, they don't want to be known as a category, right? Like so many of them, I don't know. I think the descendants do. Oh, really? Yeah. What category? <laughs> I don't know. They have a uh, in suburban home. <laughs> I think they're being sarcastic, much like President Trump, apparently. Um, oh, please, let's not mention. I'm so sick of hearing about that. I was thinking, like drummers. I saw Jeff Ballard and the drummer from Boris, and I think those are two of my favorite drummers I've ever seen live. They were great. What else? Oh, I saw another one, um, the name's blank in me. He was a jazz drummer, but he was otherworldly. Uh, I was, um, 
looking up cash music because I knew that Kristen Hirsch, I couldn't remember Kristen Hirsch's name, but um, that she was involved with cash Beth? music. What was that? Oh, I, I don't know if Beth changed so she could show the tattoo. I didn't get <laughs> Oh, she changed my shirt. <laughs> so it wasn't. You missed it. Anyway, I did. I was totally typing. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a big drum set, too. It's awesome. Has flowers. Yeah, well, I was like, I play the drums, but I, I'm a girl, so I put some flowers on it. I don't know what that means, but I'm a girl. Everything. <laughs> it's a running joke. It's just a fill space. Oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, it's, she's not done yet because I keep getting distracted by other pieces. Mm. Hey, like let's, see got, the, let's see the tattoo that you did last week. Oh, she's not finished yet. Oh, okay. But I've got a, yeah, my, uh, my tattoo artist keeps telling me off. He's like, you're going to run out of space for me to actually do things on you? And I'm like, yeah, good point. Should probably stop. <laughs> Should probably stop. I think the like, fact you're doing tattoos yourself is so impressive. I'm, I'm such a wimp. I would never be able to do something like that. Yeah, I've done seven on myself now. Jeez, I'm a total hedonist. I'd never be able to do it. Like it'd be, it would hurt. I'd cry. And it wouldn't go well. <laughs> but I've had all the painful places already done, so it hurts way less. That doesn't help. That doesn't help to hear that I'd have to do that before I. <laughs> no, I'm just stupid, and I'm going to all the stupid places to get tattooed first. Right. Okay. That was just me being dumb. Um. Uh, so I had like my feet done and my ribs done. So I've got a massive like pinup girl on my ribs. Ooh. Yeah, I got all the stupid places done first. I cried for the feet. That was, that was painful. I think a sensitive part on me is like anywhere by my spine. Seems like it's very sensitive. And I see people with back tattoos all the time. I just don't understand how they can do that. I've just booked in for my entire back with my tattoo artist. That's going to take about three sittings. Oh my gosh, three horrible, <laughs> painful sittings. Oh, I... uh, it's, no, I can actually tolerate it. So I've got the whole back of my leg done. So literally just from under my ass cheek to my ankle, that took four and a half hours because I refused to take a break. <laughs> like, no, I'm doing this. We're, if we're doing it, we're doing it right. We're, doing, we're going in. That one hurt. That one hurt. But my tattoo artist did give me a glass of Merlot afterwards, so. Oh, wow. Hey, Dad, I don't think I've seen heard from you regarding women in your collection or or women you're listening to. Was that? Oh, I don't I don't know that I've heard from you regarding women that you're listening to. Yeah, I brought up uh, I brought up Natasha and oh, Natasha. Dolly Parton and oh Dolly Parton, right? I brought a, but uh, Hollis Dolly Smith Parton was a, a surprise. <laughs> Well, I just like not really one I'm listening to. I mean, like, I don't, I, Dark's I don't. Just naming I just, some names he knows. He doesn't yeah. actually listen to any women making music. That's not his thing. <laughs> so what <laughs> I do? That's what I was pointing at. <laughs> I, somebody's got to say it. Don't what dance do around it, Caleb. I, um, just no, call I, him out. Just call saw, him out on it. You saw the um, so that um, yoga um, yoga for your year for your ears. They just um, that's a. <laughs> I think, they might be I think they might be based in Portland. Um, they just released, uh, I think they have a lot of female um, musicians, actually. Um, but do you listen to it, Doug? Yeah, I posted it in the Slack, in, 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 the, um, in the social music channel. I feel like I should be glad your video's frozen up right now. Yeah, I just see a picture of his little smiley face. <laughs> what Beth? What did what do those female musicians do? Why can't you listen to us? What's wrong with us? I do. I mean, uh, we have stats on the uh, on the on the last FM we can drag out. But uh, oh, yeah, cool. but uh, the yoga for your ears. Let's see what. So um, Namid Wolf. That was one that I listened to last week, and I posted it into the uh, the social music channel. Uh, it was it was released on April twenty first. Um, so I think it's if you just go to Yoga for Your Ears, it's the main the main one. But if you go if you go through the Yoga for Your Ears, the um, oh yeah, so it was the Holographic Girl, which was released in um, February. 
Um, that's another female musician. Um, Josie Holman is the holographic girl. Um, I think I might have posted that one too, but they're they're from Oregon. Um, the that's what I was trying to. Um, they're from Phoenix, Oregon, wherever the hell that is. Um, yeah, you got me. I live here, and I don't know about that. So, um, but uh, Kelly Mays is another another good one. Um, she actually kind of has a, like a yoga sort of vibe, which is but um, which is interesting. But for a long time, um, she was like, if you t if you googled female rapper uh she was the number one hit for a long time um i don't know oh, if that's wow. still the case but um i think she's out of pittsburgh um but uh yeah so hollis smith uh hollis i don't is not really producing music anymore um but uh you can go if if you go back through the um the music monument archives you'll you'll see a lot of the musicians that we um we interviewed back when that was a thing um hollis was on was on there uh, bethany i'm always interested in what you post because it's so different than what i normally listen to so thanks i think yeah i feel like I that's a good thing what did you say? I said I think that's a good thing. If you wanted to listen to the same thing nonstop, you wouldn't be part of a. Oh, I know. Like last week, I was listening to the things that that everyone posted, you know. And her things are so much more. You know, they actually have lyrics and uh, they're upbeat. And, uh... I feel like Beth is a traditionalist, but right. she doesn't realize she's a traditionalist, and Maybe. that's not a bad yeah. thing. That's not yeah. a bad thing. Like it's nice to come back down to earth every once in a while. Yeah, my wife was uh, thankful to hear lyrics. <laughs> yeah, I have zero taste in musical overlap with my wife. Like, I'm trying to think what we can agree on listening to at the same time. I've been to four Garth Brooks concerts with my wife. Shut and, up. And now that you know about my taste in music, how do you think, you know, that was not my choice? I will say he puts on a good show, though. I don't understand how that dude is overweight because he just runs nonstop for four <laughs> hours every night. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh. You've seen him four times. I've seen Garth Brooks four times. My God, you're like a bi his biggest fan. Oh, so it, it's really hurtful. funny. So if you look at the list of concerts I've been to, it's like just absolutely random things. And then like Garth, like I saw Health, and I saw Garth Brooks, and then I saw Windhand. Like those were three concerts I saw like back to back to back, and they could not have been any more different than each other. It was good stuff. Oh, uh, Lewis Ling and the Bombs. That's a uh, that's a uh, one of my top female. Um, so uh, Josh sings a lot, but um, in the particularly in the older um, their older stuff. But the uh, I can't remember her name, but the. Um, Jeez. The female singer. She, uh, she in their more recent stuff, she's like um, she's more prominent. Okay, Caleb, have you heard of Jucifer? Because this is one I want to talk about for a second. I have not. It's new to me. So they're I they're kind of I would say if you listen to the Melvins, Jucifer would probably be similar. But it's a it's a it's a woman and her husband, and she oh, plays guitar and sings. And he's the drummer, and they don't have a home. They just live on tour in a van. That's been their life for like the last two decades. That's and they some play of my favorite bands are like that. <laughs> they play shows. Like they don't actually have a home base. They just like stop and record albums sometimes. And they're amazing, amazing musicians. It's really that may be cool. One of the best stories I've ever heard about a band. And they never come here. Like I keep, like they're always on tour, but they're never like, they Is tour overseas, they them? tour the U.S. They're just, they don't have a home. They're like itinerant musicians, basically. Where do they, where do they <gasps> usually tour? Portishead. I mean, you should send them an email or something. Or... Did someone just say something about Portishead? <laughs> Was that you, Victor? Yes, Portishead yeah. are great. Portishead are great. I, uh, once, one, one time I have a dream when I and Beth Gibbons uh, hug each other and crying. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, I totally misheard what he said just now. What did he say? I have a dream when where I am and Beth Gibbons hug each other and crying. That's that's an amazing dream. <laughs> <laughs> Literally is. That's so can, can you guys see my video now or no? Yay! Uh, yeah, yeah, you can see your anyway. Okay. You pretend. You're just blank screen to me. I was gonna say so. I my, over the last year, I do have my I have a female musician that comes in at number eight over my in my most um. Not top five track. then. Doug. Huh? Not top five then. Well, yeah, so what? One of them. There. One of them is Whack and Metal Metal Battle Canada, which is like a bunch of different musicians. So. I don't know. There's some probably some females there, but um, I'm only yanking your chain, Doug. I'm only yanking your chain. But uh, Garmish is the uh, is the musician. G A R M I S H or M I S C H. Post it in the chat. I can't. Oh. But oh, hey, we got your video again. Yeah. So, hey, so you know this uh, this Jucifer band? I'm downloading their albums and. What's interesting about them is most of the album covers just look like pictures that they took somewhere. And then the album Throned in Blood, that's different. I'm looking forward to listening to this band. It's pretty. Yeah, hey, if, uh, you like the, if you like the Melvins, I feel like there's a very good chance you'll like Jucifer. You know what? Yeah. I really haven't listened to tons of Melvins. So, like this morning, I was really. I, I don't know. I just decided I was going to listen to tons of Melvins and, and I was really going for it. It was pretty good stuff. So, Look who comes I, in I, at uh, number 15. They, I've heard that they... Who is it, Doug? I can't see. One second. Oh. It's it, Honey, it's not focusing. You have ah, to just fuck. tell me. It's Victor. <laughs> it's Victor! <laughs> hey, I know that guy. Right. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot of Block Sonic people in the top. Garmish is another Block Sonic artist. Like, other than the Whack and Metal Battle Canada, it's like everybody. Oh, then Lee Rosevere, number nine, is not Block Sonic, but it's like like everybody is Block Sonic musicians for a while. Tovlo? I love Tovlo. Oh, that's so I mentioned Hollis. Um, you're not going to probably find Hollis Smith. Her stage name is Mr. and Mrs. Smith which I was reminded of because she's number 24 on the yearly um, stats here. Um, now what? Yeah. Do you say, Caitlin, yeah, a question about that. Or... Oh, no, no. No. I was about to ask about disco tits. I think disco tits would be like a cup A size. You know? <laughs> no, no, that's not disco enough. That is not disco enough. A is not disco. I would think disco tits would be kind of small. You know, no. like all dancer people and pretty, pretty thin, lean people. I'm, I'm, I'm like, like, I'm, I'm having a hard time saying that. You know, double D cup would be showing up too much in the disco tits. Wow, Wait, this really took a turn. So <laughs> <laughs> it is. We love a good disco tit. Who doesn't? <laughs> What? I'm just trying to figure out what disco tits are. You gotta listen to I the mean, song. I'm not sorry about the song. It's terrible rubbish, but it's it's catchy as fuck. I look. I'm gonna start saying that things are terrible rubbish. That's terrible great. rubbish. Terrible rubbish. It's fucking terrible well, rubbish. It's a very British last, way of doing it. Last things. week I tried to listen to Russian rap. That was rubbish. <laughs> to Russian what? Russian rap, rap oh. music. Oh wow, that's got to be different. What do Russian rappers rap about? About <laughs> alcohol and beaches. Beaches. <laughs> the universal. What beaches do they, what beaches do they frequent? <laughs> beaches. And Sebastian, great beach. <laughs> that would be that would be like a uh, a good parody band <laughs> beach rap <laughs> you just rap about different beaches around the world you could do a yeah. documentary film that would be like 
uh, what is the endless summer? You you just wrap on the different beaches around the world, following the waves and good weather. That that is something I'd probably listen to. That sounds chill as fuck. Tropical go- yeah. goth. That's, that's tropical goth. goth. That's my whole vibe. <laughs> tropical goth. I uh, I was on a beach this morning, oddly enough. Tropical okay. Goth Tropical. ought to be a band's name. Oh, you're moving again! You're moving again! Why were you on a beach? Were you on your you Peloton? On your... Or were no, you actually on a beach? There's the, my bike is in the picture. Can you guys see it? Uh, no. I just see you holding your phone. But you can't see the picture on the phone? Man, apparently your Zoom is just jacked up, Doug. Yeah, I mean, it's it literally says it's not responding, but it's clearly lying. Um, but yeah, so um, I don't know. I I assume they dump all this sand on the on the Mississippi. I was like, where the hell is all this sand coming from? But I was on, yeah, I was on sand for more than I would have anticipated. Tropical God is. Oh, like new genre is what when new genre of music yeah google uh, tro- that caleb tropic- google tropical. that apparently tropical goth is there, there's a record label called tropical goth oh really tropical, yeah tropical yeah, house and gothic gothic vocals <laughs> yeah i'm kind of scared of what it's going to come up with here when i google it I, you know, it's like uh, goth music, but then like still, I mean, well, I, I'm sure there's lots of variations, but I've heard some that were there where it's like mostly kind of like goth, but like um, there's like still drums and stuff that are incorporated. I got to say, I want to meet some tropical goth bands. These outfits are awesome. It just looks like regular goth, but they're wearing floral prints. Right. I know. I'm loving it. <laughs> I love this person. Which is, I mean, that's kind of a, it's a pretty solid mood, really. I love it, man. I love. I'm loving the pictures I'm seeing of tropical goth. It's kind of funky. It makes me want to. It makes me want to know, like, what's this person like? What are they doing? You know, I don't know. Oh, this one's right at Bethany's album or out. Al, Al, uh, well, my album is it? Yeah, or up your album. I don't know what that means. <laughs> well, uh, that's it, <laughs> I'll post it if I can here. Let's see. I uh, found an image and I was like, wow, this looks like uh, someone she'd be interested in somehow. Uh, how can I post this? I've never tried to post an image from my phone to my computer in the chat, but it, it looks like it worked. So I don't know if. Okay, now I'm done for now. I'm I'm not adding more Those hair extensions are, that's a whole thing. Yeah, don't don't you think, Bethany, this looks like every every person in the Bethany post kind of looks like this gal here a little bit. I I can't see the chat, sadly. That top? I genuinely own that top. (laughs) I think I've just outed myself there, like, but I genuinely own that. It's called the boob defense unit between my friends. (laughs) <laughs> that's what we call it because no one will touch you in that one that's why we wear it out no one will touch you in what but, but we, uh, does she have to spell thing. it out for you caleb look at that thing <laughs> that's a you no know, you don't like this outfit that i that i posted in here this gal's no, no, no she top. owns it I, I have that top. Oh wow, you do. So I, I yeah. Killer. That's that's how I dress normally. I love that. I'm a little goth kid. That's great. Wow. Wait, the people I don't know, so well, don't have on Instagram. Victor, Caleb, do you have Instagram? We should be Insta I have an Instagram, but I never use it. Yeah, of course. Maybe too. Give me your links, because I'm such an ins- well. Being the baby of the group, I am the social media whore. I don't even know if I know how to give my Instagram link. I'm never on there, but I guess I need to stop becoming so, an old fart. And... We love the Insta. 
Apparently I did forget my password, so I'm gonna have to text and choose. Right. There's like a... I know there. I know what there is, and I'm doing it now. It's just kind of. Yeah, uh, it was. I'm looking at the uh, Travical Goth on Bandcamp. There's a page, and it, it floods onto this like two pages. So there's not a there's not a whole lot of it out there, but um, enough to um. I wish I could, like, I don't, I don't recognize like the one that I listened to. Um, once i i think i just heard it and then i was like oh, i wonder what this is and so i was like listening okay. so I was like, well, it's, it's too bad. bethany you're gonna have to help me here how do i give you my link to my profile or whatever what's the what's the name on it caleb ramsey okay let's see if i can find you well here I'll, uh, there isn't there are other caleb ramseys out there one of them is a baseball player and he wanted to Oh, there's a lot of you. Gross. <laughs> Gross. Uh, yeah, oh, my, so many. Mine, mine is at the ocean, and I'm holding my son's hand in the ocean. Um, so see. many. Why, is, why do you want the same name? That's annoying. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, no, I've got you. I've got you. There you go. I followed you. Okay, me, let me see. It looks like Beth in my face started following me. That's yeah. me. All right. Because you followed me, I'm going to actually start using this account now. So. Okay. Um, yeah, you're making me more modern now. I'm going to have to I do mean, that's why I'm here. They brought, like, Doug was like, Beth, you got to come in. Like, oh, social media, that's your thing. Maybe the baby. Yeah. Hey. You listen to pop and you know you like you post on Instagram, that's your thing. Man, Doug, you're never gonna live that pop comment down. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I I've posted some in there, but like if you saw what I claimed my house to, so far from pop. <laughs> so yeah, I mean I think it's just all the uh all the Irish singers. I just can't it's, get it. It's all skinny white boys with guitars. That's what it is. I'm telling you, a yeah. closet traditionalist. It's yeah. a, no. Ah. New. On the, completely not female related, but the new Enter Shikari album is real good. Oh, they have a new album? Really good. Really, really good. Me and my Very wife, well we were talking about TLC last night. Oh, TLC. Wow. There's a woman at the moment. I don't know if she's had an argument with her husband or whatever, but she has driven around, like, my my roads about nine times, just blasting, I don't want no scrub, over and over. Um, so she's going through something. She's, something is happening, and I don't want to watch but I'm scared that she does not want no scrub, and a scrub is a guy that can't get no love from her. Just saying. You, could, you should do a cover, like a a punk pop cover of that. Do you know we're actually working at the moment on a punk cover of "Break Up with Your Girlfriend"? I'm bored. Oh, <laughs> bit of Ariana, but my um my guitarist is a bit uh if the lead singer. When you listen to our demo, his voice is a uh, very um. I'm. Mm, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I'll, I'll let you listen and find out. Yeah, that sounds um, great. Let's do well, that. Our very, very fuck you, fuck you, fuck this, fuck everyone, fuck it, and hi. That's what we are. Yay! I just, I just sit at the back. It's upside down, but that's cool. Oh, focus <laughs> right. Focus right, yeah. I don't know if it's any good. A, a fellow that's kind of a mentor for me right now, he recommended it, so I bought it. So. Oh, are we showing up instruments now? I'm totally going to get my guitar. <laughs> oh, I totally want to see oh. it. <laughs> now I'm into it. I want to see uh, Bicker's setup. Actually, I bet I could ask a lot of things but, but from Victor. Seems like he knows... Hey Victor, what kind of inter what kind of a DAW are you using? 
Ableton Live. Ableton Live, yeah. Version yeah. nine or ten? Ten. Oh wow. Here there we go. go. Is that Here's in frame? My left. Yeah, you can see it. My guitar. You have a closet traditional guitar, man. I know. I've had it since I was 17. <laughs> but hold on, different. hold on, hold on. So the one thing I did to it, other than just basic mechanical stuff, is the bridge pickup is, I don't even remember what it is. I think it's like a Seymour Duncan or something. But um, I ended up having to replace it because the original one went out, and this pickup is amazing. Yeah. And I'm looking at my guitar, and it's super dirty right now. It looks like Kurt, Ham Kurt Hammett's guitar. It's an Ibanez, the RG570, which at the time was like their top of the line guitar that wasn't like a signature series. Oh, wow. But it's, and at the time, this was like kind of a shameful thing, but now it's kind of a big deal because, hold on, I'll see if I get the back of the headstock. Um, it's actually made in Japan. And now like the, only the good Ibanez guitars are made in Japan. So I, mean, I guess my guitar is vintage guitar. now. Sure they did. Yeah, but it's cool. I don't know. I don't really play much anymore. <laughs> is Bethany smoking a joint? <laughs> no, she rolls her own. <laughs> no, just a roll. I'm a good go. I mean, well, but, it's legal to smoke joints in some places. Yeah, like where I live. I'm surprised I haven't done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I keep waiting for it. Um, next week, we'll be talking about important stuff I'll, I'll get some reefer out <laughs> i have yeah. a, a Scar scarlet interface too oh my focus right 2a2 i'm excited i'll probably like wire it wrong and who knows who knows what disasters are going to happen and, and with, to with new work. electronics, with new electronics, you never know what's really going to work or not. So I'm kind of nervous, but I'm optimistic. So I think I'm going to have to uh, bail for uh, for lunch here. Uh, yeah, wait for a minute too. Yeah. Um, does anybody else have anything? Uh, who knows if this is actually recording? I know we. The, it's the recording the whole time. Is it right. recording to the cloud or recording to your computer? Because if it's going to the cloud, it's probably working. But if it's okay. going to your computer, I, I think it's go. Well, you know what? I don't know because I guess you'll I, find out when we stop, huh? Yeah, when I do it, it records to my machine. But I don't know since you're doing it if it's recording to my machine or not. But yeah, we'll fig. Well, who knows? But anyway, does anybody have anything else they want to say um, on the recording? Assuming that it is in fact recording for. I, uh, before I bail. But no, but you'll one of my favorites so far. Sweet. Beth, I didn't hear you. I heard Caleb. I'm sorry. That's okay. I was just saying you're moving again, so that's nice. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who, hopefully, I mean, I found a location where my internet doesn't cut out, so that's great, but <laughs> now I have this issue, so uh, I'm going to just close every all of my, like, windows before next week, and then hopefully I don't have weird not being able to do chat things because next week will probably be a link heavy um week so anyway i'm gonna bail but uh you guys you know have fun all right i'm actually Thought gonna you guys. get some lunch too because uh, i'm about to okay. starve yeah for me it's too late for lunch <laughs> <laughs> fair enough <laughs> all right good night Victor. All right. <laughs> have a good one we'll okay. talk to you next week have a good one. next week guys have a great week you Bye. Too.